गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे आर सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस दिस इज क्लास फोर लेक्चर टू एंड चैप्टर वन इन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज लीव द फूड फैक्ट्री ऑफ प्लांट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल हाउ मेनी थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू इन आर लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस लेक्चर वन होमवर्क सोल्यूशन आफ्टर दैट न्यू एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ लेक्चर टू एंड आफ्टर दैट न्यू होमवर्क विल बी गिवन दो विच यू हैव टू गिव विच यू हैव टू डू टूडे येस तो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर लेक्चर दिस इज अ टाइम टू गिव होमवर्क सोल्यूशन विच आई असाइंड इन लेक्चर वन आई होप यू हैव कंप्लीटेड योर होमवर्क बट अगेन आई एम गिविंग आंसर्स प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली एंड टेल यू योर आंसर विद दिस वीडियो आई होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड योर आंसर्स ओके दिस इज अ होमवर्क सोल्यूशन इज दैट इज क्वेश्चन वन टिक द करेक्ट वन इन लेक्चर वन आई गेव सम क्वेश्चन एंड द मेन टॉपिक वॉज टिक द करेक्ट वन द वन इज ग्रीन प्लांट्स नीड डैश फोर फोटो सिंथेसिस अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग ग्रीन प्लांट्स नीड डैश फोर फोटो सिंथेसिस योर ऑप्शन आर ए क्लोरिन B. Nitrogen, C. Carbon dioxide, or D. Iodine. Yes, chlorine is not a green, and this is not uh, used for photosynthesis. Same also nitrogen. Iodine is used for starch test. So carbon dioxide is the correct answer. It is needed for photosynthesis. Yeah. Now. number 2 leaves are green in color due to the presence of dash number 2 leaves are green in color due to the presence of dash here we have to tell why leaves are green in color which things are present in the leaves that's why they are shown green color A stomata, B chlorophyll, C starch, or D water. Now, uh, students, I want to tell something about these options. Stomata, you know very well, it is using for breathing. Uh, it uh, exchanges gases, and they are tiny pores which are on the leaves. Starch, starch is a food. water water is needed for photosynthesis and chlorophyll yeah option b chlorophyll is the correct answer because it is a green pigment that is presents on the leaves that's why leaves are green in color number 3 dash is used to detect the presence of starch in leaf again i am repeating dash is used to detect the presence of starch in leaf option a oxygen b iodine c chlorophyll ya d carbon dioxide you know uh, student very well you know this that oxygen and carbon dioxide gases are used for breathing chlorophyll is a green pigment which is presents on the leaves yeah option b iodine is the correct answer iodine is used for testing a starch in any product not only in a leaf we can test of a starch in any product yeah option b is the correct answer by this question we have completed our homework solution Again, I'm repeating. Please listen carefully. One was green plants need dash for photosynthesis, and option C, carbon dioxide, is the correct answer. Number two, leaves are green in color due to the presence of dash. Option B, chlorophyll, is the correct answer. Number three, dash is used to detect. the presence of starch in leaf yeah option b iodine is the correct answer
now it is a time to start our new lecture of lecture 2 new explanation about lecture 2 listen carefully yeah students now continue yes our topic is plants store food in lecture 1 i explained that how plants prepare their food by which part of the plant plant prepare food here we have to discuss about how plants store food the food made by the leaves is in the form of sugar the food which is made by the leaves that is present in the form of sugar plants utilize this food to get energy student we are human beings yes we also need food and we need food to get energy same plants do this thing plants utilize this food to get energy extra food is stored as starch in the various part of the plant extra food is stored in the various part of the plants same as human beings if we have extra food then we store extra food in our refrigerator but plants have don't have any refrigerator so it stored its food in the various part of the plants and such as leaves stems roots fruits and seeds these are basically these are the parts where plants store their food human beings and other animals eat these part of the plants yes yeah, student these part of the plant that we eat like a food and animals also eat these part of the plant like a food yes like leaves we eat leaves as a cabbage we eat stem of sugar cane we eat roots of carrot we eat fruits of like mango apple and we eat seeds of peas now here we have read about how plants store food i am repeating again please students listen carefully the food made by the leaves is in the form of sugar plants utilize this food to get energy extra food is stored as starch in the various parts of the plants such as leaves stems roots fruits and seeds human beings and other animals eat these part of the plants like leaves of cabbage stem of sugarcane roots of carrot fruits like apple or mango seeds like seeds of peas yes students now it is a time to do an activity by this activity we will test of starch how many starch are present in a leaf or in any product yeah now continue how we have to do this activity yes student this is activity and our aim is test for starch yes it is step 1 first of all take a green leaf of a healthy plant in step 1 we have to take a green leaf of any healthy plant now step 2 bleach the leaf by boiling it in water what do you mean by bleach to do something white in color yeah to bleach the leaf by boiling it in water step 3 boil the leaf in alcohol after that after step 2 in step 3 we have to boil the leaf in alcohol step 4 green chlorophyll dissolve in alcohol and the leaf become white step 4 green chlorophyll dissolve in alcohol and the leaf becomes white now now step 5 yeah this is step 
add a few drops of iodine and iodine is a yellowish brown color here yes, student in step 5 add a few drop of iodine step 6 leaf turn to a blue black color and after putting iodine the leaf color will convert into blue black color and this blue black color shows the presence of starch here yes, student this blue black color it's showing that how many starch are there in a leaf now uh, i hope you are understanding this uh, activity here we have to discuss about how other plants and organisms obtain their food here we have to discuss about how we getting food how plants getting food how animals getting food let's start some plants do not have chlorophyll yes student some plants those don't have chlorophyll and therefore they cannot prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis and they get food from the other plants or animals got it students some plant do not have chlorophyll and therefore they cannot prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis they get food from other plants or animals chlorophyll it is a green pigment if the plant is not green if the plant is non-green plant so they are not able to prepare their food for the plant that's why they get food from the other plants or animals they are depend for their food on other plant or another other animals yes students now continue with me these are parasitic plant here we will discuss about which plants depend on other plants for their food and for their other activities so in that that one the parasitic plant those plants depend on other plants yeah student getting those plants depend on other plants are called parasitic plant for example orchid and dodder plants yes student those plant depend on other plants are called parasitic plant for example orchid and dodder plants now it is a time to showing a picture of orchid plant and dodder plant now let's see students it is a plant orchid plant yeah it is parasitic plant and it is not able to prepare food for their parts yes yeah, student it is orchid plant it is a different plant you can't see this plant at your home and in your neighborhood now next one is a next one is a daughter plant it is also an example of parasitic plant student you can see picture of daughter plant in your screen now yeah it is also parasitic plant it, it also not able to prepare food so these are that was uh, this is a daughter plant and that was orchid plant both plant are the example of parasitic plant now some plants those are non green some plants those are non green they cannot make their food like parasitic plant parasitic plant also depend on other plant now non green plant okay they are also like this they can't make their food these plants take their food from dead and decaying matter that it means those are dead decaying matter means those are destroying by a natural processing yes those are destroying by natural processing this is called decaying matter such as mushroom and molds now some plant those are non-green plants they cannot make their food these plant take their food from dead and decaying matter from the soil directly from the soil they are getting their food and they exchange this food by the all parts of the plant such as mushroom and mold plants now this is a time to showing picture of mushroom and mold plants student 
uh, which plant you are sh showing this seeing this in your uh, screen on your screen yeah it is a mushroom plant and it is you can see this it is a non green plant a non green plant cannot prepare their food so it is a mushroom plant uh, this is depend on soil for their food they are getting food from the dead or decaying matter now let's let's one is mold it is a mold plant it is also come under a non green plant a non green plant are not able to prepare their food they are getting food from the soil and from dead or decaying matter so we have uh, read here about mushroom plant and mold plant they are non green plant and they cannot prepare their food now after reading parasitic plant and non green plant this is a time to read about interdependence of plants and animals here we will discuss about how plants and animals are depend on each other plants and animals are dependent on each other the only natural process on the earth by which we get food directly or indirectly is photosynthesis it means a process by which we get food directly or indirectly that is photosynthesis and the photosynthesis occurs in plants also the oxygen released during photosynthesis is used by living organism for respiration you know what is meaning by respiration respiration means breathing to take in or take out any gas thus animals are dependent on plants again i am repeating student listen carefully plants and animals are dependent on each other the only natural process on the earth by which we get food directly or indirectly is photosynthesis which occurs in plants also the oxygen released during photosynthesis is used by living organism for respiration oxygen gas is releasing by plants and that oxygen gas we are using human beings or animals are using for respiration thus animals are dependent on plants yes animals are depend on plant by oxygen animals getting oxygen from the plants for breathing on the other hand plants are dependent yes student plants are depend on animals for the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis and this carbon dioxide getting from the animals or from the human beings released during respiration and the carbon dioxide is releasing by animals or by human beings released in respiration plants use this carbon dioxide to carry out the process of photosynthesis yes student i already told you that carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis for the plants in this manner balance of nature is maintained both plants and animals are depend on each other and in this manner the balance of nature is maintained now student it is a time to giving homework please note it down your homework listen carefully and complete your homework okay it is a time of lecture to homework student note it down please one is activity collect pictures of some parasitic plants and non green plants which grow in your neighborhood and paste them in your scrapbook yes student you have to collect the picture of parasitic plant and non green plant and after that you have to paste them in your scrapbook next one is what is photosynthesis student i explained in previous lecture also and in this lecture also about photosynthesis you have to write down answer here next one is what are the raw materials needed for photosynthesis here you have to write these things are used for plants 
in the process of photosynthesis i already told you about this so now think in your mind and write down these answer in next lecture i will give answer of these questions thank you all of you have a good day